we go. Hi. How are you, Hannah? I'm May loving Lee? your backdrop. Oh, thank you. Got to get in the habit, right? <laughs> <laughs> thank you for joining me today. I talked about Hannah. A uh, Hannah. <laughs> habit. <laughs> yeah, Jewel's great. She's the manager of a very like sexy, risque 1940-ish esque club. And I mean, this this film, you as you've seen, is it's like really fun, right? It, 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 you know what I love about it? It's what we call through the female gaze because it's, it's the vibe to this movie is not masculine at all. You know, it's got such a female influence on it. It's so hip, the colors, the shades, the costumes. It's almost like watching a rave for two hours or being in a rave, isn't it? Totally. I think she captured that pretty, pretty well, right? And Janelle has a very, I love her, um, her kind of, filter that she does with her work with her photography with commercials and with this film she kind of blended that so well and um the costumes as you said a lot of them she owns those so we're wearing her you know pieces her her babies in this film which was really fun well, uh, I, I hear that she was kind of like this is your costume this is what you're going to wear or did you have any kind of say so about it um <laughs> Yes and no. I, I wanted her to do what she does, you know, like she does that so well. So I didn't want to be like, well, I think this character should wear this. Although like I came in wearing like those black gloves and these like Rick Owens shoes and she's like, where's your heels? I was like, my heels? So I didn't even know. She's like, but she has this vision and I don't want to, I didn't want to, I was like, no, whatever you want. I'm putting those heels on. Do you want me to get rid of these gloves? She's like, no, the gloves are fine because it's such a specific view and a specific kind of style that she has. So I wanted that to stay alive. You know, I didn't want me to get in the way of that. <laughs> and also I think, which is really cool. This is an LA story. Cause I, I love mm -hmm. movies that take place in LA. So tell me about yeah. shooting the film around LA. Oh, it was so great. I am born and raised here in LA and um, we, got to shoot in that really cool like mortuary space too. And that um, house that Gavin is in, after watching the movie, I just drove over there to look at it because it was such a cool architectural piece, right? So I really love that when something is shot in LA because here we do have a lot of really, it's not just the palm trees or the weather. I mean, we have the great architecture and we have a lot of great uh, things to see here. So. That was always really, that's always fun when something's set in LA. And it has tell me a about, soft spot for oh, me. Oh yeah, absolutely. Because you always hear stories of the productions leaving LA and going somewhere else. So to actually see LA, you know, I've been being in Las Vegas, been going to LA my whole life. It's so cool yeah. to see LA stories. Uh, and, and tell me about working with Janelle Shirtcliffe, the director. She seems like she's got an incredible vision, incredible eye. And it's like, after you finish the movie, you're like, I can't wait to see what she does next. That's exactly how I felt too. So. Um, after seeing a lot of just even her photos, I mean, she has like a very artistic, stylish point of view that um, I was so excited. Like when we we're shooting my scenes, like there, were, there would be like everything was just a beautiful like 1940s romantic um, feel, I guess, even when we we're on set. So um, I was just very uh, thrilled to kind of see how it all come together. And I feel like the trailer is really fun, but the movie itself has a lot of different things Janelle puts in there that is just artistic and fun. And um, a lot of things you don't really see too much of. I would say it would be like, you have your art world stuff and you have your films and she merged those really, really beautifully and in very entertaining too. And what surprised me also was Bella Thorne is a tour de force in this movie. I mean, she, from scene one to the end, she is yeah. just, she's a power player in this movie, big time, isn't she? Bella is very talented, very gorgeous. I mean, I'm looking at her right now in your backdrops. And I mean, she's so beautiful. She's very layered and she brings a lot to this film. And we go through a lot of different emotions with her and what her character goes through right and um Bella does an amazing job performing and Janelle did an amazing job capturing those moments and making it all so beautiful <laughs> and so cool and that 70s filter I don't know it just I thought it was just really uh 
really cool. I'd say this movie is just like cool and fun. Oh, I, I think it's going to achieve cult status. I think after, <laughs> you know, a few Heard it years, first here. Uh, oh yeah, absolutely. So I mean, it's one of my <laughs> favorites this year. Everybody was fantastic in it. So thank you so much for joining me today. And uh, this course. is a movie that has to be experienced. You can't even describe it, right? It's like- I, I agree because it's it has all the thrill elements that the trailer does has and shows but I mean you know you got your hallucination moments in the film you got the colors you got the cadence of everybody's acting and um, the humor, how people, the humor. Very I mean yeah. very, not, very, too very heavy the movie being yeah. too heavy you got to have some levity to it and she did it she just put it everywhere to let you breathe a little yes I agree and you could tell like how it was done, how much you really cared about it and how much she brought to just how even everything was edited and put into the film. I don't know. I, I think it's a really pretty baby she made. <laughs> I agree. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hey, come visit us in Las Vegas. We'd love to yes, have you. Yes, I will. <laughs> love to. Thanks so much. Take care. Thanks.